Uh, today we are joined by Mike Marco. If you guys don't know who that is, uh, you probably haven't seen the Minute with Mike videos. Uh, I would definitely recommend hopping on the website and checking those out. Mike, are you there? I am here and ready to go. All right. Thanks, Mike. And I'm going to hand it over to you. Uh, before we do, if you guys have any questions, please post them in the questions box and we'll take as much time as needed after the webinar to answer them. So, Mike, what do you got going on with the new website? All kinds of things. Thanks, Chris. Good morning, everyone. Um, here's what we're going to take a look at today. First, I want to just kind of go over layout of the website and then how to find things, how to order some other tips and tricks, and then we'll cover the questions and answers at the um, end of the webinar. But before we get to the site, just a couple things to, uh, to note. One is we recommend using Google Chrome. You're going to get your fastest experience doing that. And also, uh, there's some things that we're not going to cover here because they're not on the website. We get asked about adding logins, permanent address changes, credit card info. Uh, those are not on the site. As a matter of fact, credit card info, uh, we keep off-site secure for your protection. So that's one of the reasons that's not on there. Um, one of the huge benefits that exists with the website is that you have free freight on any online parcel order, that parcel being a non-truck order, to your business, and there's no minimum for that. So uh, keep that in mind. Your time and sorting through here uh, can also benefit you on that side of it. Um, so let's get going. We're going to take a look at this. I'm going to go through things pretty fast, but I want you to see the different sides of it. It's something you don't catch completely. I wanted you to know it's there, and you can always talk to your sales rep or customer service to get more information there. Before we sign in, one quick note on this. If you hadn't noticed, you can search products, find other information on the site, and it will show retail price only. It will not show cost. If you're not logged in, you won't have access to my account and other things specific to you. But if you want to be able to show a customer product and not have them see your cost, you can log out or bring an iPad or whatever to a customer and show them uh, the products that exist in there. So that may be something to help. Keep in mind when you're not logged in, however, you do see some other products that may not be available to you. So be a little bit careful on that side of it. So we're going to go on the top right here and click sign in to be able to get into the website. Um, your username will show up if it's already there. If you have any problems at all with sign in, I mean, you have a forgot pa password, I'm sure you're used to that, but if some reason it doesn't go, if you make multiple attempts, it's gonna lock up for 20 minutes. But you can call customer service and they will always help sort things out for you. If you need to add any uh, additional users, also let your rep or customer service know so that they can help out in that particular area also. Okay, so um, with signing in, just to kind of lay out, there is some information. Contact us up on the top where you can click on that and get at um, phone numbers and address uh, customer service info, that type of thing. Quick orders up there. We're going to come back to that later. We have our normal search section. Um, if you don't know, in most websites, if you click the logo, that's the same as going to the home location. So you can do that at different spots. And then we have uh, a brands area. Again, we'll get into these in more detail, but brands that we can search by brands, product categories, my account information, things specific to your account, events telling you what kind of things are coming up and taking place, things that we've had that are in the news, uh, tools and resources we're also going to come back to. There's some other things that are kind of helpful back in there. And then on the right side of the bar is the cart that uh, is going to be holding products that we're ready to order. So that's kind of the layout of what we're working with. So let's take a look at finding products as a whole. Now there's three different ways to do this. One is using the search area up here. Another one is using brands and a third is using product categories. Well, I'm going to start with product categories. So this would be a case where you kind of know what kind of product, maybe you want to look at uh, options that exist in that category. And I'm going to just for the sake of this go into uh, speakers home. Again, you'll see there's multiple categories that kind of break things down for you. And then there's a second level in most of those that go down to a little bit more detail. In this case, I'm going to pick in-wall speakers. Again, 
got in ceiling, it's got uh, outdoor, it had several different options that exist for you on that side. This is going to bring up for us all of the in wall and it's going to sort by brand and then by model. So in this particular case, several things that I'd like you to see on here. One is in this sort by brand, by model, um, there are some other options. Um, you could take these speakers and price them low to high, or if your customer's got a big budget, maybe you want them high to low. So it will sort those by dealer price. Um, so many times you can uh, change your search that way. Whenever you go back to the search, it will default back to brand by model. Per page, this one some people miss, it is by default at eight. Once you change that to 1624 32, it will remain there until you change it again. So uh, we have that in case somebody has slower connection. If you've got a faster connection, I changed it to 32. There's also a couple different layouts on it. You may like this layout better where things are uh, lined up um, multiples across the row. And here we've got those horizontally across with a little more information. I'm going to leave it in, in this form. And there's also filters that will show up on the line. So you can see there's manufacturers over here we could choose. Or we could put in a keyword search. Let's say, for example, here we want speakers, uh, in-wall speakers. We're already in that category. But we want speakers that are only six and a half. So here are six and a half options in it. Um, and again, sorted by brand, by model. Here again could be handy if we want to change that area to be able to have price range that's on it. Then we can look at the different products. We've got the description, the model number, and that's what they're sorted on is this model number. That's manufacturer's model number. Our SKU, how many are on hand, the manufacturer, retail cost. This green symbol, uh, free parcel options, means any of the products are uh, available for free freight ordered online. Um, the only other option you'd see up here is a purple truck, and there are different programs to get free or reduce freight when a truck is required. So again, if you're not sure um, if it requires truck, take a look next to the product to see it. If you want to know the policies that exist on there, you can simply click on that logo, and it will bring up uh, the information giving you the options that exist for uh, truck freight, for example, and the programs on free freight that exist. To the right here is getting us towards cart options on it. One of those is an option to add to the cart. The other would be adding to my favorites. And we're going to get into that one later. This is kind of a neat thing to be able to use. In this case, um, I'm going to go ahead and add this to the cart. And you'll notice up in the top, it now has one line indicated in the cart, one product type that's in there. In this area, there's two areas you can get to more detail, two ways to get to detail. One is you can click on the description up here or a picture of the product. That's now going to bring you additional detail on whatever product that is coming up there. With this, we not only had the other information that exists, but we have more detail, things like the power requirements, uh, what uh, output level it has, a lot of things you're looking for, what's a cutout size that might be. Um, has those pieces now available to you. You'll also notice add to cart, add to my favorites is there, and also what the freight options exist. If you scroll down, you will see uh, many times accessories, things that go with it. In this particular case, uh, we're showing a uh, pre-construction bracket. Again, if we want a little bit more detail on that, we can click it. And again, uh, we could add this to the cart if we desire. I'll do that. And down on the bottom here, you will see that there happens to be a piece of literature for this. Any product that does have a literature guide will show up at the bottom of that uh, particular screen in a PDF form, something you could give to your customers or whatever so you don't have to go searching around to be able to uh, find that part of it. By the way, on the top here also, if you ever look to back up, you will see a breadcrumb trail that exists. So I could go back to just in-wall speakers or speakers home or all the way back to home on here if I desired to do that. So that's the first way uh, that we're looking at searching for products. The second way is under brands. Again, might be a case where you can't remember the model number. You knew there was some product in that category. You remembered the manufacturer of it. 
Um, let's say as an example, you knew that there was uh, something by Ring that they made with floodlights that are part of it and thought there was a camera on it and even uh, might be something that I can do without wiring it. We have all the manufacturer's logos here. You can click on any of those and it's going to bring up the brand um, of, or the products for that particular brand. In this case, we have 23 items. Again, this is sorted by brand or by model number, this number second place in here. Uh, screen stayed at 32, our layout stayed the same, and now we can see the products. We try to put pictures on everything we can. Sometimes they don't provide them, but we try to get them up there because a lot of times scrolling through can do it. Well, hey, here's something. We've got a spotlight camera. It's battery operated. That's the thing I was thinking about. It's available black and white. There's uh, a, a number of those that are available. If that was a product I'm looking for, I can go ahead and add that to my cart also. So that's um, looking at searching by brand. Now, a, a quick side note, we generally show on the website only the products that we stock. A manufacturer like Ring, I think we carry everything they have. But some manufacturers uh, have tens of thousands of SKUs. Uh, Daylight's one of those, for example. Um, so we do not show all those. We'll show some of them on the site and even other manufacturers who may have a few hundred products, we're going to show some of them. So if you don't see a product on the site, could be you missed it or it could be that we don't stock it. Certainly call your rep to find out if that may be available for us to special order for you. So the third way that we can look at searching is if we go into the, the blank area here, and uh, this is not a Google search, but it is a pretty good search engine. Part of the trick in using it is remembering that typically less is more. Let's say you were looking for a um, networking switch and we wanted a 24, oh, let's try port. Uh, we wanted 24 port and we want it PoE. Um, and we're gonna see a few that show up in the screen, but we can go ahead and click the, the uh, search uh, button here and it's going to bring up all the products in that particular category and this is also in this case it's going to sort by best match so we don't end up starting with something on the top much like Google does there's a lot of stuff on the pages below that you really don't care about this is going to bring the main pieces to the top so in this case um, I find here's a 24 port POE it's 26 total here's another one um, starting with Luxel, and it goes to Ingenious and, and continues down uh, the list to be able to show us what products exist. And again, we could add any of those to the cart and, and move ahead. You'll notice again several options in the filter that might exist here in, in different categories, manufacturers, other things that might be helpful in what we're working for in the search. So there's a way to find things. Now that we find them, let's go to how do we actually go ahead and uh, place our orders. Well, if we go back, I'm going to go back to the home page here again. Um, our card is showing that there's three light items. You can go to this at any time and be able to uh, look at what's in your cart and make changes there if you desire. I can exit out. I can change the number of units. Um, I can remove everything that's there, but there are... Uh, it's also um, an opportunity to uh, save an order. I'm going to show you that one in a moment. Um, so these are what are sitting in the cart at the moment. Let's say we just came in and we knew what we were looking for um, in the products. We know the SKU or we know part of the model number, at least the beginning part of the model number to be able to find something. We can go in here and let's say uh, we're looking at something like uh, JBL Pro their control 25s would start with C-O-N-T 25. Um, and as it brings up several of those options for you, you could also continue and it would bring up some additional. But here I go, oh, I want the 70 volt and I need them in black. That is the product um, that I need to be able to order. I can go ahead, change the quantity on it. If it was wrong, I could uh, remove it and I could add the next one. Also, if you know our seven digit SKU from a previous order or you looked up an invoice in the past, you can type that in and then quickly um, put your order together. Once you have that all set, you can go ahead and add all of those um, to the cart and it will have those set up for you and add those again um, to whatever was existing in the cart. So we had our other items 
here, and in addition, it added the speaker to it. One thing quick here before we go to check out is you can also take this and save the order. Um, saving the order, we'll leave it and we'll show you later. You can find that under account. Anytime the system you log out or the system logs you out, you lose what's in the cart. So if you're not done with this, you want to come back later, you have to leave your desk, go ahead and save the order and it will keep it um, aside for you um, for availability for future. When you save the order, you'll notice it did clear the cart out. Um, so the saved order was uh, put in place there. All right, let's go back in here. We'll go under saved orders. We're going to take this one, and now we're going to take and check out with this. Um, in this, we can go ahead. I find one here, which is the item that I want. We're going to take that, and this is now showing the items that were in there. Looks like, yep, that's what we want. We want to go ahead and place this saved order. Um, what that is going to do now is it has now moved your save order into the cart. We can see the items are there, and now we're ready to check out. This checkout we could again do from the quick order, or we could do from the, the cart at any point, but this is um, the screen that will bring up. One of the things to note in here, under shipping information, if you have more than one ship to, or you need set up, talk to customer service about it. Let's say you have a retail location that has multiple sites. You can have all of those listed in here for you. I'm going to take the second address as the one that I want to use here. Um, or you could put in customer information for a drop ship in here also if you desired. Keep in mind, drop ships are not covered by the free freight policy because of several issues that can happen on the dropship side. But you can enter that, have something sent directly to your customer if you desire. We can choose shipping method on it. It generally defaults to what is set up under your account. Um, you have UPS and Speedy are the free freight options. And again, uh, ground to commercial or ground to residential gives a cutoff time. Next day, second day, third day are available, but there are charges for those. Put in a PO number for it, and if you um, use things like stock or a job name, I'd recommend putting a date so the system doesn't think there's a duplicate and uh, figure that we have to be careful to find another option of the order that took place. So again, if you use a job name or a, a, a word that describes something there, just put in the date in front of it so it'll make sure that it has that um, uh, put in place for you. Um, in this particular case, this goes in as a uh, system. It will go ahead and place the order for you. It will clear the log. It takes a little bit for it to come back out because uh, the system is now actually taking the information, sending it off to the Capital website, and drawing a product number to be able to do that. And in, uh, in giving you that information, um, it also will provide back as we'll see in the confirmation screen, it's now showing us a confirmation. The order number, that's your actual order number and invoice number. The web order is not as useful for us, frankly, but the order number will be what will be uh, found later within the system. Finally, I want to take a quick look at a couple tricks that are in here. Under my account, uh, there's things for account settings. Um, we saw the saved orders that took place, order invoice history there. But also, one of the things that is very uh, helpful is order tracking. And under order tracking on this, um, we can go in, find any of our orders that were here, and it will indicate to us, let's take one here. Um, again, we can change the sort order in those if we desire. Right um, on the top of the order, we'll have tracking information um, that shows up in here. If it's UPS, this provides a hyperlink for you and it will bring you immediately to the UPS site and give you the information. For Speedy and for uh, truck orders, it does not do that. Um, you can call your rep or customer service if you need help with that. Speedy will give the actual number. Truck would need customer service or a drop ship would need customer service to provide that. Um, the other piece that's up in the um, account area are my favorites. This is also a very useful uh, area. 
Under the order I showed you before, when you saw the spot to add to cart, there's also a spot to add to favorites. So you can take any of those items that you were looking at previously. We're going to real quick put in that um, control 25 back up here. And um, if I take this particular item, I can uh, bring it up on screen. And again, when we click the uh, um, add to our favorites list, it will come up and ask me, do you want to create a new one? Um, otherwise, there's going to be a list of other ones that are there. I'm going to create one called speakers and add that to my favorites. Then again, we can go under my account, hit my favorites, and you can have these set up for whatever number. Think of them as folders for particular things. So you could have a job name. You could have like you like a capital cables or contractor packs. You could do it by sales rep or um, others that might exist. And here I just created it for speakers. And when we have that up, we now have the product listed. We can add it to the cart, delete it, whatever we might want to do. The final section is tools and resources. Um, there's help, which goes over some of the items that we discussed here. Um, tech tips, white papers, people have told me those have been helpful for them. Manufacturer links is kind of neat because that does give you the actual link to the manufacturers. You don't have to try to Google to find it. Capital YouTube channel, you'll find at my uh, 60 second or minute with Mike's up there. You also see Chris's previous webinar. So lots of good information that you can find there. Policies and forms, if you're looking for those, are under the tools and resources. And finally, Fred Harding's CE Pro articles. Fred does reviews on a variety of products and other things that can be helpful for you. So now that you should be able to find things quickly, um, we know some simple ordering steps and a few tips and tricks. I'm hoping that that will really help you find your way through. Again, I encourage you to uh, call your uh, capital sales rep or call customer service if you ever can't find things or there's any other uh, issues that you're trying to work your way through. So if there's any questions that exist, um, let me know. I will see if I can address those and uh, I'll wait a moment and see if there's anything I haven't covered here. Thanks, Mike. A lot of stuff to go over, a lot of cool things with, that, with the website. Uh, guys, do you guys have any questions? Uh, you know, both Mike and I can both help you answer those questions. Otherwise, like Mike said, I know how it works. As soon as we hop off the webinar, the questions start rolling in. Feel free to reach out to your local rep at Capital. Uh, we'd be happy to help out wherever you need. Uh, looks like one question came in. <laughs> the question was missing a few digits on your credit card number. Can you show that full so we can write it down? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we can't see that. Um, yeah, that would be that would be a wonderful thing, wouldn't it? Um, yes, and again, people ask about many times about credit card information, and, and we're very concerned about. Uh, security in that area. So that's why actually uh, when you're giving credit card information, generally the rep will send you to accounting and they will take that verbally because it gets entered into the system and actually uh, is kept off-site secure. Any other things that uh, you have questions on? Well, uh, if any questions again come up, please uh, let any of us know. Uh, either the rep or customer service would be glad to help and see where we can assist you um, in ordering from Capital Sales. Well, I appreciate your time. Anything, Chris, that you have? No, I just want to thank you, Mike, for taking time as well to hop on and give us a rundown on the webinar. Uh, you know, sometimes they get tired of just hearing me talk on every webinar, so it's nice to have a fresh voice. I uh, want to thank you again. And... So without anything, if you guys don't have any other questions, uh, I want to thank you guys. And, uh, you know, we won't take up any more of your time. But if you guys do have any questions that come up, feel free to reach out to us. 
we are more than happy and wanting to talk to you. So we look forward to talking to you guys. So if you guys need anything, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. Again, Mike, thanks hey, a folks. lot. And uh... Hey, folks, have a great uh, day. We really appreciate you taking the time to do this. Take care.